is the fifth annual Art of Sparkling label reveal. It's a program that really has been a phenomenal collaboration with the Pacific Northwest College of Art. So, and then we would also like to welcome our artists, Eduardo Soto, Roger Sheff, and Shannon Driscoll. I'm gonna turn it over to Eduardo. I try to put my influences sort of at the forefront of everything that I do and when coming up with the idea for Art of Sparkling, I wanted that to be at the forefront as well. I look a lot towards the art of the Mexican muralist movement. I wanted to apply that same logic of, you know, representing this company for what they do and all the hard work that goes into making this wine. With my painting, I really wanted to show that relationship as being something larger than life. So next we have Roger. So one thing that stood out to me the most is just how old the process this is. And Argyle, what you do there, really relies on processes that's been in the making for tens of millions of years. And that, to me, is just my opinion. I wanted my piece to be about Chardonnay grape. So I studied every physical detail of the Chardonnay grape, and I realized I wanted it to be kind of sleek and refined. I just sketched out the style I wanted, and once I was really comfortable with that, I scanned it all in, and I did the rest digitally. Next, we're gonna go to and talk with Shannon. I want to start by thanking Argyle for this opportunity and for giving us the chance to grow as artists. I began by gathering photos that I felt inspired by, um, and I was immediately drawn to the patterns and the textures of the bark. Um, so I started to see kind of like this wood grain patterning as um, like the bookends of the winemaking process. I find a lot of inspiration in scientific diagrams. And yeah, at this point I was really just seeing um, the process of winemaking as a bunch of patterns and cycles layered on top of each other and connecting at certain points um, and then going their separate ways. And my goal with this design was to uh, capture the complexity of winemaking uh, without creating an overly crowded piece. And there's my final piece. <laughs> and the idea of taking people through your process all the way, you know, to the end, and then all of a sudden, when it's unveiled, you're right there with them.